With us now is Democratic Congressman from Florida, Jared Moskowitz. Congressman, nice to see you this morning. The rule, the FISA rule passed. Does this mean House Speaker Mike Johnson, all his problems with his own party are over? Uh, thanks, John. Thanks for having me. No, it doesn't mean it. I mean, look, they've had more rules go down this Congress since the, the last time that happened was in the 70s. And so, you know, this is an historic Congress, right? You know, re they've removed the Speaker. That never happened. They impeached the Cabinet Secretary. That hadn't happened in 150 years. They removed a member of their own party. That hadn't happened in 20 years. Uh, and they've passed, I don't know, 50 bills, I think, which the average is about 400. They're way beyond the pace. And think, I don't think we've sent a policy bill to the President uh, since the middle of last year. And so, you know, look, it's good that this rule passed so that we can make sure that we're keeping Americans safe uh, from terrorist threats uh, around the globe. But no, the, the function, this, the, this function of the 118th Congress is not over just because they passed one rule. They were able to convince Donald Trump to stop telling his members not to vote for it. So House Speaker Mike Johnson was seen on the floor with Marjorie Taylor Greene just before the vote. Don't know what they talked about. What we do know is she has been talking about calling for a new vote to oust him from the Speaker's chair. If that were to happen, if it were to get to the floor again, where Republicans push to remove the Speaker, Democrats, they get to vote too. You get to vote too. How would you vote in this case? Well, like I've said, I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't have the votes. She doesn't have the votes to remove the speaker. She doesn't have the votes to rename a post office. Democrats never let her do that. This is someone who wants to secede from the union. And so, no, I am never going to allow Marjorie Taylor Greene to stand in the well of the People's House uh, and give a speech to remove a speaker, which then would elevate her power-wise in the House. So if that motion were to come by Marjorie Taylor Greene, there's no way uh, that I will sit by and let her do that. So if it comes from Marjorie Taylor Greene, you would vote to keep Mike Johnson in the Speaker's chair? Well, look, we obviously want to make sure that, uh, just like last time, our leader, Hakeem Jeffries, is negotiating uh, with Republicans. We want to make sure that he has the support of his caucus. But as a American, as someone who took an oath to the Constitution, there is zero chance that I would let Marjorie Taylor Greene sit in the well of the People's House uh, and pick who the next speaker would be. Zero. What would that look like? Would that look like you not voting for Hakeem Jeffries and actually casting a vote for Mike Johnson? Yeah, no, that's not what the vote is. So you don't vote on the speaker, right? It's different from what you saw on television okay. where I cast my vote for Hakeem Jeffries and they cast their vote for Kevin McCarthy. The vote is on a motion to vacate and there'll be a motion to table that. So first, you'll vote on the table, right? And so Democrats could decide to table the motion so we don't even get to the actual vote. If the table were to fail, then the motion to vacate is either just yes to declare the speaker's chair vacant or no to declare the speaker's chair vacant. It's never on the person. That's why what I'm saying is I'm not voting for Mike Johnson. I'm not saving Mike Johnson. I'm voting right. against Marjorie Taylor Greene. Got it. Even though, in a way, you would be voting for Mike Johnson, who's going to your home state today, to Mar-a-Lago, to hold a press conference with Donald Trump when they are going to engage in election conspiracies once again. You're okay with that? No, of course not. But remember, we're pretending like this motion to vacate by Marjorie, she makes it and it fails, somehow the speaker is going to survive, right? It's very likely that once we start down that path, mm -hmm. Right, that hit, the clock is ticking on him anyway, which is why I'm saying I'm not interested in saving Mike Johnson. I'm just not Got interested it. in turning this body, one of the greatest legislative bodies ever created, turning this over to Marjorie Taylor Greene. I just wanted to ask you, because today is Friday, Monday, something historic in this country happens, which is that a former president will go on criminal trial here in New York City. Um, I just want you to reflect on that, what that's going to look like, what that's going to feel like when Donald Trump is on trial here. Yeah, I said this when he was first indicted and then, you know, he was indicted like, I don't know, three more times after that, that this is a sad day for America, right? No one should be jumping for joy that Donald Trump has gotten himself in so much trouble that he has 90 indictments. That's not good for America. Uh, and so, look, he deserves a fair trial. Um, and, you know, whatever the verdicts are, the verdicts are going to be. Um, but it is not a good day 
uh, obviously for the country, and, and, and no one should be celebrating the fact that we now have a former president uh, dealing with 90 indictments. Congressman Jared Moskowitz, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Appreciate it.